All right, just wanted to shoot another quick video about the Elegoo Centuri Carbon. So I wanted to do some side-by-side -side testing. Uh, got the old trusty X1C over here, and these are some other parts that I print. You can see the zits on there. So I've done pretty much everything possible to try to eliminate these. I've got an active filament dryer here with the Python. Uh, humidity is at what? Uh, it's up to 31%. need to change the desiccant, but this filament was dried. Um, just like the filament that's in, hooked up to the Elegoo, I dried this, and then I print with it until it's empty, and then I'll stick another one in there. I just start printing with it while it's actively drying, so it's not anything crazy, and these use the same thing, and you can see the surface finish isn't very good on these, so... I wanted to see how the Elegoo would print, so I printed a couple on the Elegoo, and you can see, like, I mean, there's a slight amount of layer lines if I, like, really get in close to it, but I mean, these things are super smooth compared to the X1C or even the P1S. It, they both, both of these printers, for whatever reason, and I've checked for clogs. I've changed the extruder on this one. I've had the temperature up to 230 all the way down to 185 just to see what would work and nothing really makes the little zits go away all of a sudden. And they just started doing that too. I've been printing with the same filament. So I just wanted to see what the Elegoo would do and it, it did fine. The only area where it has a little challenge is where the supports go. You can see right there. And I mean, there's little pieces of supports, but I can clean that up. I can live with that. The X1C, I mean, it has a couple little errors down there too, and I could adjust the supports, but it doesn't really matter. I clean those up with a little sandpaper and, you know, whatever, but what really, and I can fix this too. I mean, I can just sand it, but the whole point is, is if I can get this out of a $299 machine, but I'm getting this, you know, out of a $1,100 machine or I think it was 1400 bucks when I bought it with everything I don't know we'll see how this one holds up over time I mean my X1C's got a lot of time on it P1S not as much time so I would hope that that would print a little bit better but I'm up to I don't know if you can see it on there but uh, 104 hours now on the Elegoo I mean this thing just runs non-stop and so far it's been doing awesome I had one issue where the, I did a reprint and the software froze, I just rebooted it, it was fine. And then I had a second issue with the uh, the uh, extruder head cover. I forgot to pull a, like the PEI plate when I pulled one of my prints off. It left some of the supports on there and I didn't see it and started to print and it hit the cover and knocked the, the front magnet part of it off, which totally my fault. But um, for $299, uh, this thing is, really rocking it i'm really impressed with it so we'll see how it holds up once i get into the you know four or five six hundred dollar or six hundred hour range um but so far so good and i will uh keep updating with these unbiased reviews i mean i'm a, a bamboo fan but so far the elegoo is uh is doing awesome